text views. Hello everyone, it's time to talk about text views in this video. So we spoke about components in Android Studio in the last video. We mentioned some layouts and right now we're going to talk about which Android components to place on these layouts. One of them is text view. So what exactly is text view and what can you do with it? So text view is a component to show text to the users. I know it seems elementary, but stay with me. You can use text views as labels or to print some results on the screen or to print some notifications on the screen and that kind of thing. Text views can be used in a lot of different areas. So it's uh, pretty much the most commonly used component. So we'll go back to Android Studio and have a look at how text views work in practice. Now we can add text views uh, two different ways to Android applications. And of course, the first one is to drag and drop it into the Android Studio like this. All I'll do is drag text view, drop it under the constraint layout. And now we have text view and its text is also text view. So we can change this text whenever we want to. This was the first way. Also, of course, there is another way, always another way. And I'm just going to delete this text view and create a new one using XML code. I'll go into the XML side. And now I'm going to write text view XML code under the constraint layout. And I'm writing here text view and Android Studio will autocomplete it. Now I just need to give some values for the layout width and height. And I'll just write wrap content for both of them. Now this will define height and width of the text view. Now we have a text view here, but we don't see it because we did not write some text. So I'm going to add a new line of text inside the text view using XML code. I'll write inside text view, hello world. And to do this, I will just need to write Android colon text. And inside the quotation marks, I will write text. So whatever I write inside the quotation marks, the text of the text view will be what I write. So now the text of text view is hello world. So I choose wrap content for height and width of text view. And then setting a text view size to wrap content will force it to expand only far enough to contain the values it contains. Right, so if I add new words to the text, the size of the text view will be bigger. And if I change it to a bigger number size inside the text, inside the text view, the height of the text view will also be bigger. When I change text size to 20 dpi, and the text view size gets smaller, of course. So when I change text size to 40 dpi, text view size gets bigger, way bigger. Now, on the other hand, I can choose the width of text view as a match parent. So when I write match parent here, text view will cover all of the device screen from left to right. And then also when I write match parent for layout height, the text view will cover all of the device screen from top to bottom. So now I'll choose wrap content for layout height. Of course, also I can give numerical values for height and width. So let's give 150 DPI for width and 75 DPI for height. And also I'm going to drag text view to the center of the screen. So when I click text view, I can see the attribute section on the right side of Android Studio. And I can also see all of the operations I can do right here uh, 
everything that I can do to text view. For example, I can change the layout margin here. And then when I change the layout margin, text view position will change on the screen. Now, if I write 250 DPI here, text view's position will go down. If I write 150, it'll go up. And I can give numbers from here for left, right, top, and bottom. Layout margin defines the position of the text view. Also, uh, there's another attribute here. It's called padding. If you're not familiar with padding, um, padding defines the text position inside text view. So if I write 25 in the left box, see how the text will go 25 DPI from left to right. So if I write 10 in the top box, the text will go 10 DPI from top to bottom. Also, I can change the text size in the attribute section. So if I choose 24 DPI, the text will be bigger. When I choose 14 DPI, the text will be smaller. Now, all the changes that we made in the attribute section will be added in the background as XML code. Now, if you want, you can write XML code to do the same operations, or you can use the attribute section. So let's see what else we can do in the attribute section. We can change the background color from here. I will choose color accent as a background color. And now the background of text view is changed like so. There's gravity here. You can define text position automatically inside the text view from here. So I'll choose center and text will take the center position vertically and horizontally. But if I choose this, I'll need to change gravity to zero. And now we can change text color from here as well. So for example, let's say that I want to choose white and the text color will be white. We can do a lot of operations from here. But also we can do these operations on the Java side. You don't think I was going to leave that out, do you? But before we work using Java code, we will need to give an ID to this text view. Uh, you remember when we talked about it before? So on the Java side, this text view needs to be given an ID uh, in order to be recognized. So I'm going to give it a uh, text example as an ID. And now our ID of text view is text example. And text of text view is hello world to the human. Um, so let's go to the Java side. First up, I need to call text view as my class and give a name to this text view. And I'm going to use this name on the Java side. You can give it a name, whatever you want. I gave the name text, you know, I'm creative that way. Now, after that, I do need to call this text um, in the create method. So I will write text equals, and I will write find view by ID. Now I will call text view from the XML side using its ID. Now I'll write inside the parentheses r.id.text example. So see, now we have assigned text view to the text we created on the Java side. Now I can do all of the operations that I've done on the XML side here, but how will I do this? I'll just write text here and I will add point here. Then after the point, I can see all of the operations automatically. And I can set a new text from here. So there are plenty of operations here that I can choose from. For example, I can choose set text color. 
So I'll choose a color, writing color dot black. And then when I write this code, nothing has changed on the XML side. The changes will be applied when I run this application on the device. So I'll click Run. And then, after the device opens, I can see the changes in the application. So it'll take some time to uh, get to the device online. Uh, ah, there we go. Now you can see that the text color is black. Cool. Okay, so also I can change the text using set text code. I'll write text dot set text and inside the parentheses, I will write new text. I want to change. And I will write this as an example. But you should be careful now. Uh, you need to write text inside the quotation marks, right? And I'll just run it again. There you go. Now you see that the text has changed. So in addition, in addition, we can add a feature to text view. And if we click to text view, we can start the operation. Uh, so for example, when we click um, onto the text view, we can open a new activity or we can change the text size or text color. Uh, so let's try it like this. How are we gonna do this? I will add a click listener to this text view. You see it? I will write text dot set on click listener and then inside the parentheses new view on click listener and i will write new codes inside the on click method now, of course these codes will work only when i click to the text view right i will write inside the on click method text dot set text color color dot white click run again and after a while the device is running and now you can see here that there is not any changes in the text view how come after I click on the text view the code will work and the text color will be white. So let's change the background color of the text view. I will write text dot set background color, color dot black. And I'll click run again. Now you can see that after I click text view, the text color will be white and the background of the text view will be black. So we can do a ton of other operations here, but for now, that's enough for one video. Believe me, uh, there are other components that we need to learn. So make haste. I'll see you in the next video.